Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today I am very excited to do today's review. We are going to be reviewing the Series 1 AEW Unrivaled Collection Kenny Omega figure. Oop. I've been waiting for this figure for a very long time. I'll get into the details on how I got it in just a little bit, but you can already see this figure is amazing. I already took this figure out of the packaging, but I will review the packaging first. Then I will review Kenny Omega uh, accessories, and then I'll review the Kenny Omega figure itself, that little articulation thing. But before we do that, make sure to hit, the, hit that subscribe button. Make sure to like the video. Make sure to comment down below if you want to see more reviews or what you want to see me do in, on this channel, because I want to make sure you guys are getting the content that y'all want. And yeah, I think that's it. So let's go ahead and get into this review. So as you can see, we have the packaging. Yeah, I kind of ripped it a little bit. But I was just trying to open up this figure because I was very excited. But before we get into it, how I got this figure. So my dad um, is the manager of a pawn shop, right? And one of his old workers has a friend who is tracking down a bunch of these figures, right? He's like a collector, and he was going to sell them online for like 50 bucks. Well, that well, my dad's friend actually hooked up, hooked him up with a deal, and my dad only had to pay $10. And I got this figure, and I'm super excited to review it for you guys. I've taken a little look at it. I've done a um, little articulation thing myself. But getting into the packaging of this Kenny Omega figure, on the top you have a clear little window there. You have the AEW logo right there. You got the front rearing window, Unrivaled Collection there. Got a nice picture of Kenny Omega. He got his name on the side. This is the second figure in Series 1. There's his uh, picture right there. Uh, there's the AEW logo again. Uh, this um, attire is from Double or Nothing in Las Vegas, so there's that. You can see the other figures in the wave. There's that. Um, you got the Kenny Omega name. You got his cool little signature. And then let me try to fit this in the frame. You got um, Kenny Omega, a little picture of him in the match with Jericho. So there's that very nice photo there. This side already covered. You got the AW logo there. And again, the front ring window. Um, something before we get into the figure. This box that the Unrivaled figures come in is almost exactly identical as the old Jack's classic superstar. I mean, look at that. Let me try to raise up the camera a little bit. Well, you got the tops are the exact same. They open the same way. Like, look. This opens on the side right there. See that? And this opens up on the side. It's a little more complicated. So yeah, that's crazy how, like, they basically copied them. This one's a little bigger, and of course they had to change the wrestlers, but uh, this little thing there that I wanted to mention. So yeah, let's get these guys out of the way. Let's go ahead and get into the Kenny Omega accessories. So for the accessories of Kenny Omega, we have this cool uh, little, like, leather, or not leather, it's a, um, it is a rubber piece, but, like, look at that. It's got the uh, all the nice detail in there. It's sculpted on. You got the one sleeve, and then you got the sleeveless side. On the back here, you have, like, some, like, a wing, because he's, like, the one-winged angel or whatever. Then you have, like, some more feathers up here. I like this, uh, sculpt on the back. It looks really cool. And it's, like, a very loose leather, or rubber. Like, for example, like, this feels, like, a lot more free and, like, able to move around. Like, of course, this is still going to hinder the articulation. But, like, this feels a lot less stiff than the stiff stuff that Mattel gives us. Like, so, yeah, there's a good upside for the, um, uh, AEW figures. And then we have this cool little wrist gauntlet that you can put on him by um, taking off one of the interchangeable hands and then slipping it on his wrist like this. So you got the figure, and then you just plop it on like that. So yeah, there's that. Um, for that, and then you have uh, four interchangeable hands. I took off um, the two hands, so you have four in total. You have two like normal mic holding hands or grappling hands, and then you have two shooter hands. He comes with uh, one of the shooter hands and one of the grappling hands out of the package. So yeah, there are the accessories of Kenny Omega. Now let's go ahead and get into uh, Kenny Omega's figure. And starting off with Kenny Omega's figure, this is an absolutely amazing figure almost all around. So starting off, um, I'll get into the articulation at the end of the video. Starting off, we have the head sculpt. That looks like him. Uh, no misprinted eyes or anything. Come on, focus a little bit. Come on. There you go, if you can kind of see that. Pardon for my camera. Um, you got the nice uh, beard sculpt and like the good paint job there. It's uh, kind of sculpted on. Um, looks a lot like Kenny Omega. Then the hair, um, good job there. There's no blonde tips or anything, but you can easily paint those. Um, starting off in the chest, he's a very uh, vascular person, I think that's how you say it. A lot of veins on his body. So they uh, got the detail in his veins everywhere, on his hands, on his wrists and everything. So yeah, there's that in his back. That's no problems there. Um, it is, uh, of course, the normal plastic up here, and then it's a soft rubber material, which allows them to have a better ab crunch. 
So there's that. You got the black belt on the back. There's the um, Omega sign right there. It's a little blue right there. Then you have the pink attire. If you match it up, it looks really nice. Um, and then you have the K Omega on this side. And then you have the little design here. You have the pink like um, designs here. And then you have the Omega symbol and the little design here that matches the kick pads. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, getting into the articulation standpoint of the figure. Uh, speaking of stands... He stands up. If you try to lean him forward, he'll fall over like that. But if you lean him back a little bit, he's fine. So it's not a huge deal right there. So as you can see, he comes with the shooter hand out of the package. So that looks nice there. Um, starting off with the head articulation, he can't look up that much because of his hair, but he can look down a lot. And because they're the new figures, they can uh, their heads pop off, as you can see there. And it has a good articulation there. And you can just pop this. Oh, come on. Let's pop that back on. Then... Like I was saying, the uh, rubber piece right here for better articulation, so he has a really good ab crunch there, so he can do a lot more moves. Um, of course, you got the double joint on, arms, and they're kind of on like ratchet joints, you can hear that, which is good so they won't get loose, and same with the shoulders. Yeah, they go above 90 degrees, which is really good. Um, already covered the ab crunch. Um, he can rotate 360 with his head. Uh, same thing with the arms. Um... With the legs, he's on ball joints, as you can see. Uh, double jointed knees. Ankle pivot is there. Ankle up and down. It's a little stiff, but there's that. Um, so, yeah, that's all the uh, articulation. A lot of articulation on these AEW figures. Really excited for, like, all the pick feds people can put on and, like, everything. I'm going to be putting on a bunch of Kenny Omega pick feds. I'm a huge Kenny Omega fan. Uh, but now into the um, comparisons of Kenny Omega. Um... I don't really have any other AEW figures, but he is wrestling in AEW right now, and it kind of has the same articulation. I have this old, like, Jax Chris Jericho. It, like, towers over him, but, like, it has, like, the same ab, kind of. You can see that it can go like this. I forgot to mention this. these figures. Oop. These figures can have, um, diaphragm movement side to side there. Um, so, yeah, there's that. He can move side to side. Good ab crunch. So, yeah, you might see old school Kenny Omega. Uh, versus Chris Jericho. So yeah, there's that. Um, that's all I really have today for this video. So let's go ahead and move right into this outro. So there you guys have it for this review. You can see Kenny Omega. You can do a lot of poses. For example, I'll show you a bunch of different poses. You can do this. He can do this. And this. So yeah, it's going to end the video. I hope you enjoy. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff. Make sure to share this video with anyone that you think would enjoy it. I will see you guys next time. And by the way, um, a little spoiler alert. Um, on the 16th, I'm planning a very big video. I might even be doing a double upload on that video on that day. So stay tuned uh, for the 16th. So turn on your notifications so you know when I upload. Um, I will see you guys next time. Peace out. Have a wonderful day.